Good day everyone. This is the Punch Amp. It's a 1 watt powered amplifier. Uh, it's just for a little mini amp that you can use to power a small a small speaker. You can use a 9 volt battery to power it as well. So if you're, you know, if you're away from uh, any mains power, you can you can have a you can have an amplifier, a, a little a small amplifier that you can use. It's much easier to put together than the Ruby amp in my opinion. I had all sorts of problems with the Ruby amp and the LM386 noise issues, oscillation it was um yeah it was a bit of a bugger to get going whereas this one i've just put it together it works straight away i'm following the schematic from chp tunes a user on the do it self stop boxes forum uh, i've just left out the eight ohm resistor because i'm using two speakers uh to um to get a little bit of extra volume out of it so when the gain potentiometer is on 100k it's about half volume and when the um, gain potentiometer is on one meg it's at about full volume i've actually tested this myself that's what chp tunes said um, I tested it myself and, and it's quite correct, that's, um, that's pretty much how it works. Um, it doesn't really distort much even on one meg, I'll show you the difference in volume. So this is on, this is on 100k which is, um, which is about half volume. And I'm on, the, um, I'm on the neck pickup so I'm on the loudest pickup as well. The actual sound of the of the chip sounds quite good. It's um, quite warm. Um, so if we whack that up to one meg, um, it will be pretty much at maximum volume. And you can hear that it does have a bit of distortion. Which I don't mind. I don't think it sounds that bad. I think the distortion actually sounds good. Some chips don't sound very good when they, when they distort, but this one doesn't sound too bad. Um, so if we keep cranking it up, you'll see that it probably won't make much difference to the volume. So let's go to 2, two meg. I mean, let's just crank it up totally to like 12 meg. Doesn't really make much difference. So you're probably going to be looking at a 1 meg pot, I'd say, for that um, gain, the gain control. And um, if... The ratio kind of looks to me like it's probably going to be logarithmic as well. So to get a decent amount of volume out of this thing, I reckon you've got to have some sort of pedal in front of it, um, uh, just just pushing the front end a bit. Um, and it, it's it's kind of a bit of a tug of war between the volume on the pedal and the the gain of the amp. So at the moment, the the, the amp's on full um, on full gain. If I whack this um, pedal on, which is on uh, half volume. If I turn this down, back down to um, half volume. So we didn't get really much vo extra volume out of it. Didn't make much difference. So you end up, I've found it, I'm pretty much end up um, juggling between the volume on the pedal and the um, gain of the amplifier. Sounds a bit thinner actually um, when you turn the volume down on the um, on the pedal, so let's just crank that up, see what happens. It kind of starts to sound a bit muffled too, so you can see that you'll be messing around with um, the volume um, on the pedal and the um, amp, and I'll just do the other way around now, I'll actually put that back. So the amp's on full gain and the, um, and the volume on the pedal is low. That probably sounds the closest to what the actual pedal sounds like um, in that configuration. Um, I know distinctly what this pedal sounds like, and to my ears, that's what it—that's pretty much what it sounds like. So, so pushing the um, amp too far probably doesn't make much difference. Ah, uh, sorry, doesn't give you a good representation of the of the sound of the pedal that's going into the front of it. So I'll put a clean boost in front of it now, and we'll see what that sounds like. So as you can see. Um, you're not going to have the neighbours complaining about the noise with this thing. It's, it's pretty quiet. Um, but I mean, if you've got kids, or you, you know, if you're in an in an apartment, or you you know, you've got I don't know neighbours close by that are um, that get annoyed with the sound, it's quite good. It's a it's pretty much just a talking level. In fact, talking's probably louder than this amp is. So um, it's a good low powered amp in that respect. Sorry, low volume amp in that respect. So this is pretty much on unity gain. I think ah. Oh, not Unity, just 
just above Unity, um, the, the pot on this is all bunched up on the end. I, I think when I built it, I used the wrong pot. But yeah, all the um, volume boost is up this end of the volume. So um, I'll crank it up slowly towards the, um, the other side of the, of the volume pot. And we'll see what it sounds like as it goes up. So uh, um, the amp is still on full, on full gain. starting to distort quite a bit now and then on full gain doesn't sound too bad um, I think the soul bender sounded better to be honest um, but uh, yeah I'll just try it the other way around again because we did it with the soul bender so why not do it with this as well so on full gain, and the amp is on um, half, pretty much half gain. Uh, pretty much sounds the same as it did before, actually. So yeah, that's the um, that's the punch amp. Um, it really is something that you'd want to use for. Uh, I reckon, you know, like a battery powered amp. I've heard a few people say that the batteries don't last a hell of a, hell of a long time. Um, I think some people reported half an hour or an hour tops um, that you'd actually get out of one of these. So if you're going to use it um, away from mains power for a while, you're going to want to take quite a few batteries with you. And, you know, I don't know, rechargeable batteries, I guess, because it's going to cost you a fortune otherwise. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's the punch amp. Um, check it out on do-it-yourself stockboxes forum. Um, and yeah, that's the CHP, CHP Tunes um, layout on page 3 of the thread uh, if you're interested in building it yourself. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more do-it-yourself stock box tutorials, videos and demos. Thanks for watching.